Oh, boy, I'm glad I ate my Wheaties. This thing is a beast to turn. It should be easy. It's a little HHR. We definitely have a problem with the power steering. Have no idea what it is. Why don't we take it into Tech Garage today, do some diagnostics repair on this Heritage High Roof. Well, it's a great day for a high-tech how-to show. Welcome to Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com. Well, we got our HHR, Chevrolet calls the Heritage High Roof in the shop. And I'll tell you, it was a bear to turn. It took everything I had to get this thing to get into the shop. Well, I went under the hood like anybody else would and started to check the power steering system. Well, I looked under there, there's no power steering belt, there's no power steering pump, there's no power steering fluid. Hmm, a little curious. Shimmied under the car, looked at the rack. It's not an electric power steering rack down there. Now I'm really curious, why is this thing so hard to turn? Well, I got up under the dash and what I did when I went up under the dash, I took a peek and there's actually electric motor actually running on the column itself. So now I know, pretty cool, this is an electric column car. So there is no power steering, hence it's really hard to turn. What do we do next? Scan it. I got my handy dandy scanner here from rockauto.com, plugged it into the Obed 2 connector and come up with the code C. 0550. Well, what's that all about? Well, a C code is a chassis code, kind of lead us in the right direction. We know it has something to do with the steering. If it was a P, that would be a powertrain, B would be body control, and U would be a network code. So I had to go do some research, man. Now it's time because this thing is all new. That's pretty cool stuff. I did some research and found a TSB, Technical Service Bulletin. What is that all about? Well, I like to kind of explain them as little quirks that go on with cars that the manufacturers know about. You can find them online as well. For example, maybe a car squealing really bad and they upgrade the brake pads with a new part number. Maybe perhaps they just got a whole different programming for the car. And in our case, this one happens to be a pattern failure and that code comes up a lot. So if you look at the technical service bulletin, you can see right there, it says it's for our car, the C0550. It falls within our date and also down on the bottom, here's the kicker. It says inspect the harness connector with the power steering control module. So I had to drop the kick panel. That was pretty easy, a couple of seven millimeter bolts, drop the kick panel down, got under there, looked. It says there's no problem found. Ours was in good shape. So it says you have to replace the steering column only. So I started the job. I went ahead and disconnect the airbag. I let it time out, get it over there so it's good and safe. And then I scribed the mark down there. Hey Dave, what's going on? John, would, no, that's the question I have for you. What's going on? It's kind of a power steering deal under there and there's no power steering come under the hood. So I found an electric motor on the column, some really cool technology. I'd love oh, to show these guys. The take, take a peek on the column. It's really Good. cool. Yep, it's neat, man. You'll see the big oh, that's motor cool. yeah, there. I can see it right now. See it? Yep. Isn't cool. that something? I love it. Man, well it's, stay down there. I've never there. seen one like that. Yeah, stay down there, buddy, because I'll tell you what, we got a C0550 <laughs> yeah. and the only thing to do is replace the whole column, man. Thanks, and John. My knees were killing me. So this you know what? I was kind enough, though, to pull the service manual That's information. Nice. They want us to pull the uh, knee bolster. I did that. They yep. want us to pull the module. I did that. I made the scribe, man, all the dirty work's done. Now all you have to do is there's a column bolt yeah. all the way down there. Okay. It's connected. Two bolts. Hey, watch your head. That thing's yep. going to drop down, hit you right in the head. Yep. I see the <laughs> column bolt and you put a, you scribed a little mark on there. Got it. Yellow mark. Yep. Awesome. Very good. And then you got about 9 million connectors and yeah. some paraphernalia under there. Just yep. handle it. You got it under control, Dave. All right. Let's see here. This is like every science fiction movie here. This, uh, I should have yelled, it's a trap. Get out of there. All right, here we go. John's always got something for me like this to do. Here's uh, right on the steering knuckle. John scribed that mark so we can get set right. And there's also a black mark there uh, where the splines from the, the steering shaft actually come into the knuckle. And we can set that right once we get it all set back up. It's a long run. There goes that bolt. And uh, two more bolts on the steering column. I'm gonna bet that this thing will come down on my head once I get this other bolt out here. So I'm hopefully, Putting enough resistance on it to keep from getting whacked here. Yeah, good, caught it. Yep, only about 487 connectors left to go. Oh yeah, there we go. Not getting hit in the head, that's my goal every day. We're gonna get these connectors undone and get this thing pulled out and put on the table and John's gonna show you different kinds of power steering systems when we come back to Tech Garage presented by rockauto.com. Stay tuned.